Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared a very interesting question for you. As the complexity of an organism increases, all of the following characteristics emerge except and you have to choose a correct answer. As usual, I recommend you to pause the video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run the video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, variant of the answer A, the gene density decrease. Again, please pay attention, as the complexity of, of the organism increase, the gene density decrease. And this is true because, uh, for example, in bacteria, archaea and very primitive organisms, uh, density of the genes is almost 100%. But uh, compared with human genome, where only 2% of the whole genome would be genes that would code for proteins and 98% so-called junk DNA. So a variant of the answer B is the number of introns increase and this is also true statement because again if we will return to bacteria archaea or even viruses we will see that uh, the genomes or the genes doesn't have uh, introns at all. And for example, when we want to express human gene in uh, bacteria, for example, when we produce uh, insulin, before we insert uh, gene into bacteria, we have to delete all the introns because uh, bacteria just doesn't recognize introns that it have to be spliced out. So um, answer C, the gene uh, size increase also the correct answer uh, correct statement because if we add to the gene introns the size of the gene would also eventually increase now we have these two answers left an increase in the number of chromosomes and repetitive sequences are present and the correct answer uh, would be answer d and answer E would be true statement, repetitive sequences are present. For example, in human genome, almost like 50% of our genome is just repetitive sequences. And as for the increase in the number of chromosomes, again, let's return to uh, our question or statement. As the complexity of the organism increase, all of the following characteristics emerge except so this characteristic doesn't emerge and if you don't believe me take a look at this picture at this table so uh, in this picture what you would see you would see that for example uh, here human human genome consists of 46 chromosomes but butterflies for example has 300 80 chromosomes so as you see almost like uh, five six seven times greater number of chromosomes than humans have and many plants also have a number of chromosomes that exceeds number of the chromosomes in humans and for example take a look uh, earthworm has 36 uh, chromosomes and mice has uh, 40 so as you see very close and cat has 38 and for example chicken has also almost twice as many chromosomes as humans have and carp fish has like uh, more than twice as many chromosomes as humans have but you may think that oh it's just a uh, genome smaller but chromosomes just fragmented and also smaller but this is also not true if you would take a look at this table what we will see here let's take a look so here is the genome of the mammals which is as you see up to 5 billion base pairs but what we see next up we see birds and genome of the birds as you see would be 9 multiplied by 10 in the power of 9 so genome of the birds can be twice as big as uh, of the mammals and for example reptiles 
has the same size genome as uh, mammals, as humans, and amphibians may have genome pretension 10 in the power of 11. This means 100 times greater than 10 in the power of 9, as in the case of uh, mammals. And here we have also 9 instead of 5, so almost can be 200 times bigger than of the humans. Again, not twice, but 200 times. And even uh, bony fishes may have genomes that is twice bigger than mammals and humans. And cartilage fishes, this is very ancient fishes. For example, sharks belong to the cartilage fishes. And take a look at the uh, insects, which also uh, may have genomes that is greater than of the humans. And even mollusks may have genomes that is almost 50% bigger than of the humans. So, as you see, not only number of chromosomes doesn't reflect of the complexity of the organism, but also genome size doesn't reflect uh, complexity of the organism. This is what we call C-value paradox. And I want to tell you that some of the plants also may have a genome. Take a look. That is, um, can be like 500 times, again, 500 times bigger than those of the humans. Can you imagine that? So again, um, genome size and number of chromosomes doesn't increase with uh, increase in complexity of the organism. And what is funny, take a look, humans has uh, 46 chromosomes and gorilla and ape has 48 chromosomes. Isn't it funny? So, as you see, again, uh, number of chromosomes and genome size doesn't reflect complexity of the organism. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.